If you are preparing for a coding interview, make sure to check out these videos. You will find it helpful. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Let's dive into today's lead code problem, reverse integer. We're given a signed 32-bit integer x, and we have to return x with its digits reversed. If reversing x causes the value to go outside the signed 32-bit integer, then we have to return 0. Now let's take minus 123 as an example. We have to reverse the digits of this integer, but we cannot pick one digit at a time from the integer and reverse the order. So we're going to convert that into a string. And let's call that string str is equal to string value of x. Now we have created str of minus 123. Now we can pick one character at a time and reverse the string. So the reversal would be 3, 2, 1, minus. But you see, we don't really want the minus here. We want the minus to remain here. So we're going to check if the given number is a negative number. So first, let's take a Boolean called negative and let's set it to false. Now if x is less than 0, in that case, we will set negative equal to true, meaning the number is negative. So we don't want to reverse the entire minus 123. We only want to reverse the numbers, right? So we will exclude this minus sign before we start the reversal. So let's say str is equal to str.substring starting from character 1, okay? Now str is equal to 123. Okay, now let's reverse it. So let's declare a string builder and let's call it reverse string equal to new string builder. Now let's reverse the string using the for loop. So for int i equal to str dot length minus one i greater than or equal to zero i minus minus and then reverse string dot append string dot character at i. Okay. So now we have received a reverse string of 3 to 1. Now we can convert this into an integer and check if there is any overflow occurring or not. But before that, we have to account for the negative numbers. Now let's go ahead and account for the negative sign. Okay, so we're going to say reverse string equal to, we're going to use the ternary operator and check for the Boolean variable negative. If negative is set to true, then we're going to insert the minus sign in the beginning of the string. So we are going to say reverse string dot insert minus sign on zeroth position. And if negative is set to false, then reverse string will remain as it is. Now we're going to convert this reverse string into a long variable. Let's declare a variable long, call it reverse and set to zero. We are using long here because if we were to directly convert the string into an integer, and if there was any overflow that occurred and we lost some digits, then we wouldn't know. So let's say reversed is equal to long dot parse long of reversed string dot to string. We're converting the string builder object into a string and comma 10 because we want to use the conversion using base 10. Okay, now let's check if the number reverse is within the integer range, meaning the number reverse should be greater than or equal to minimum integer value and less than or equal to maximum integer value. So let's say if reverse is less than or equal to integer dot max value and reverse greater than or equal to integer dot min value meaning if this condition is satisfied that means that reverse number is also within the integer range and we can simply return the integer value for that number so let's return integer dot value of reverse string dot to string else return zero okay now let's go ahead and run the code and there we have our solution accepted if you are enjoying these videos give it a thumbs up so that i get motivated to create more videos for you guys